okay so you landed up here in finding trouble adding this wonderful gym to your rails api app no worries let's do it together okay so we know that active admin is a wonderful gym and provide a very very great gui for doing admin purpose things but uh, there's a problem it works great with the rails a uh, complete web app but uh, if you talk about the apis it doesn't include the views and to work so admin admin active admin needs views to work properly so how do we integrate both of these functionalities together so let's do it uh, i have found an article over here which instructs how you can do that but i found uh, uh, a bug you can say or uh, uh, a incomplete little thing uh, which uh, gives error so let us let us do that okay enough talking let us right let us jump right into the code okay so let me first create a rails app What should we name it? Uh, we'll sh we will name it like test app. Can't find a better name. <laughs> and I will skip the test cases. And uh, I will use the SQLite three database. Also, if you want, you can use the Postgres database, uh, so that you don't need to shift the gems if you deploy it on Heroku. But let's start with these things. Okay. So this is the best time in software development, waiting for your code to get completed. Okay, so let's open, let us open our app. Test app. Okay. Okay. So at the very first, we will just follow how this article is instructing us okay. we'll first be creating a new controller okay so what happens is active admin needs tools from this action controller base uh, there are some dependencies which active admin needs from this action controller base so but in api we have in action control we are application controllers inheriting from the action controller api and not from base so at first we need to create a separate controller which will inherit from api that will be needed for rest of our application and this base will be needed for will be needed by active admin okay so let us first generate a controller i'll name it api cool okay so first of all add the application controller change it to base okay save this thing go into your api controller which you have created and instead from application controller inherit it from your action controller action controller api okay now every controller which you will create in, in your app for different models will be inheriting from the api controller and not from your application controller keep this in mind you need to change the inheritance level if you can if you generate controller by the cli command just how i did okay so now closes okay so one thing is sorted now let us see what's rest okay so i told you now every controller will be inheriting from your api controller okay so now uh well now what happens is active admin needs some middlewares to work properly it uh, it needs to manage the sessions uh, for your for your uh, active uh, admin login and it needs to manage cookies and all other stuffs and one thing i forgot we didn't added that in our gem file so 
let's do that and uh, yes if you uh, I'll give you the link of the active admin uh, if you go in the documentation or at the github page you will see that active admins have dependency on the device gem so just add that also and active admin I think this will do the work Okay, now in application. Okay, so add these middlewares. Uh, oh, I provide some indentations. Done. Okay, so now one thing for which I have. Uh, created this video where I stuck for a lot of time uh, it's take a lot of time to me to uh, access that so it depends on the level of programmer you are so you need to uh, because okay so active admin require views and Rails as we are making a Rails API app which will be giving us the JSON data so uh, but for active admins uh, it needs to render the images it needs to render the uh, views so it will be requiring this rocket real ties gem dependency because this will give access to the asset pipeline of our rails if you want to know more about the asset pipelines of the rails I will provide link in the description from where you can see much about that more about that okay so this is the thing which is not mentioned over here now even he says if your conflict application.rb should look like something where you can see that they have required sprockets commented out uh, but we need to uh, comment it but we need to comment it out because we will be needing that or I found this way solving this May there, maybe there could be some other ways also and my this rails test unit rail ties api is commented out and there is not because I at, if you remember initially I provide a flag of uh, t which skips the test cases I don't want to have test cases for right now for this demo application purpose okay so now they say that you need to move your gem from SQLite to into development and test uh, this is for if you want to uh, put this app on the production I'm not going to put this app on the production so I will be skipping this step but this is fairly easy and I think you can easily do that okay so we need not to do bundle install think we can install active admin now and uh, voila we're done we integrated it okay let's do a rails db migrate uh, I think I haven't created database rails db create and rails db migrate okay so if you have any uh, seed file if you want to run you can uh, run that but I don't have I don't I have oh, well, I have the seed file but I have I don't have any data in that so it's cool so now if you go on Rails server. Okay, so let us check this. And yep, it works. And we haven't created any admin uh, user, so I can't log in. But uh, let us let us quickly make a active admin user admin dot new okay, so what you call it okay so we need to provide email password and I think password confirmation also user is equals to Sample 
gmail.com you can provide it anything password you can provide it test one two three four five user dot password confirmation I think it has this thing also now if we try to save this and we did it I think it will work let us see if, if there will be error we will just okay so it is not admin at the rate example it is a b c at the rate example and it is test one two three four five and yep we logged in so yeah we added our active admin to our rails api app so if you want we can just quickly add any uh, resource over here rails generate scaffold book title and title and what's a body which will be of type text and title will be of type string rails generate support okay let us do that okay so yeah this is the thing i was talking about if you do that now if you go in your app controllers okay so i think it didn't create the controller okay so it was not able to find could not find api controller be in your source bar your current source bar just this So model has been created so we need to make controller on our own I think it will be books controller dot rb yep. and just make a class of books controller which will inherit from API controller and end Uh, it will be something like this it will be inheriting from your api controller books controller okay so now if we do rails routes uh, you can see our routes works uh, let's shorter them by grep book So yeah, it is working like it is. It will be. It will match to books and create, and we have made. We have made that. So now, if we add something to our active admin, how do you add that? So it's fairly easy. You can go to the documentation and they provide their command, which is Rails generate active admin resource oops resource and model name book so you created a book model so you, you need to go into your book rb which you have created and you need to permit the parameters you want to set by this thing okay so what parameters do you want uh, what we have set it we have title and we have body I think if you want a confirmation we can go to the schema file and see that okay we haven't done the rails db migrate thing so our book was not available now it, it will be available so we have title and body okay 
Okay, now if we do the rail server, I think we will be able to see that. Let's hit a refresh. And yep, we have books. And we can create one, I think. First book. It is my first book. And if we hit a create button. Yep, we did it. So yep, this is how you add your active admin to your Rails API app. And thanks to this man, he helped me a lot. Although there was a little bug, but uh, I figured it out by spending, I think, one day or half a day, more than half day. That's definitely sure. So see ya. Uh, this was it for this time. I'll see you next time. Bye.